Hi, I'm Yolanda, and welcome to another episode of 20 Reasons to Move Your Body Every Day for More Health and Vibrance. Today, I want to talk about blood pressure. That's a really important topic because, as it turns out, one in three adult Americans is walking around either with hypertension or prehypertension, and that means that your blood pressure is above 120 over 80. The reason that high blood pressure is so important is because when your blood pressure is consistently too high, your blood vessels can weaken and then they can burst, and that can create a stroke or a heart attack. It's also really important because there are a lot of people out there taking medication for high blood pressure. That's a daily pill. And of course, like any pharmaceutical, those pills have their side effects. Some of those are dizziness, nausea, stomach upset, um, dry mouth, and other things. And so my mission is to get people to try alternatives before they actually have to take the pharmaceutical. And I'm also, I also want to emphasize not to just stop taking your medication if you are taking it. Don't just stop taking it from one day to the next. Ideally, you try these alternatives, you incorporate them into your days and into your lives, and then you get your doctor to let you off the blood pressure medication, okay? And what kind of alternatives are we talking about? Of course, I want to talk about moving your body. Now, studies have proven that with 30 minutes of some kind of cardio workout, so anything that really gets your heart going, right, 30 minutes a day can lower your systolic blood pressure number by as much as medication can. So um, systolic is the top number of your blood pressure number, and that's the amount of pressure going through your system when the heart is actually pumping. So every time the heart squeezes the blood through, that's the amount of pressure that's in your system. And then the bottom number is the more constant pressure that you have on an ongoing basis through your system. So the top number is the systolic, bottom number is diastolic, right? And so um, moving your body at least 30 minutes every day can get your blood pressure to go down. The other thing I want to talk about is drinking more water. And if you're not drinking at least eight glasses of water a day, your body could be dehydrated. And when your body gets dehydrated, it starts to hold onto the sodium. So that's why they say um, to have a more low sodium diet if your blood pressure is high. Because the sodium causes the, swell, the cells to swell up, and then it can also create edema, and that increases blood pressure because then the blood vessels have less space to go through. So that puts pressure on your whole system, right? So drinking more water can help you flush out that sodium. And it'll take a few days once you start. So if you start intentionally adding just one glass of water every day until you're up to eight glasses of water, it'll take a while for that sodium to flush out. The third thing that I want to talk about is some kind of relaxation or meditation exercise. So it could be yoga, it could be doing um, a mindful meditation for five or 10 minutes every morning and every night. It could also be just sitting quietly, petting your cat or your dog, or taking a walk in the woods. But incorporate something like that to every day, and that will help to lower your blood pressure as well. I'm gonna finish by showing you one of the ways that I keep my blood pressure down, and I also keep myself healthy this way. Um, it's by working out at a place called the Athletic Playground, which is a gym near me. It's in Emeryville, California, and it's just this fun and creative place for adults to work out. And they have kids' classes too, but it's really um, a playground for adults. So here you go, and I will see you next week for more great reasons to move your body every day. Bye-bye.
thanks for checking in.